this one is one of the electro weld brand 8 kva wire butt welder on this you can weld 2 to 8 mm dia ms high carbon stainless steel wires 2 to 5 mm copper wires 2 to 6 mm aluminum and brass wires now we will show the machine parts here these two are the chromium copper welding jaws these are the brass clamps these are the unlinked jaws this over here is a gap adjusting lever between the two jaws this one here is the pressure barrel you can adjust the pressure depending upon the diameter of the wire this over here is the current selector switch you can adjust the current for various diameters depending upon the wire to be welded this over here is a grinding attachment after the welding is done you can do the bar grinding on this grinder by switching on this switch this over here is a holding vise you can hold the wire before welding and cut the wire at right angles and then you can do the butt welding this machine requires two lines of three phase 400 volts plus minus 10 volts 15 amps 50 hz power this over here is the troubleshooting chart here if you have any problem you can read the problem the cause for the problem and the remedy over here given so that you can solve the problem if any occurs in the machine these welding jars sometimes accumulates the carbon due to butt welding over the welding jaws under the welding jaws the carbon should be removed with the emery paper and then again you can fit the welding jaws so that you get a full current for butt welding any wire now we will show you the working of the machine supposing we want to weld 6 mm to 6 mm wires for this we have to adjust the current first so keep the current at number 5 pressure also number 5 see that it is coinciding with the arrow and the gap between the two jaws can also be kept at number 5 now you can clamp the wires by depressing this pedal one at a time like this you will see the clamps open and you can clamp the wire like this and release the pedal again this side also you can open the clamp by depressing the pedal like this and then again clamping the wire like this so that the wire is held between the two jaws in the center now you can take this lever back to its initial position and then press this button you will see the welding taking place and the cutoff will be automatic See now the wire is welded, you can declamp the wire by pressing both the pedals like this and taking this lever back to number 5 and for annealing you can clamp the wires between the two annealing jaws like this so that welded portion is in the center of the two annealing jaws. Clamp the welded joint firmly and then depress this same 
push button two three times till the welded joint becomes reddish like this now the wire is annealed you can take out the wire do the grinding on the grinding machine like this We are removing the bar so that the welded joint becomes free of any bar. Now you can see the welded joint is totally free from burr. You can now pass the welded joint through the dies for further process. Thank you. Now once again we will show you the butt welding of KTMM wires. For this again we have to adjust this current selector to number 6 position like this. Then pressure increase up to 8 mm like this so that this 8 number coincides with this pointer and the gap adjusting lever for increasing the gap between the two jaws you have to keep at number 6. These are the approximate settings. Now you can clamp the rods to be welded by depressing this pedal like this and the clamp opens you can insert the wire rod 8 mm like this again depress the another pedal so that on the left side you can open the clamp and clamp the rod this side also then again take this gap adjusting lever back to its initial position. Now you can depress this button so that the welding takes place and the cutoff will be automatic like this. See the weld is over, cutoff is automatically done. Now you can declamp the welded joint by depressing these two pedals and removing the job you will see the weld is done properly throughout the rod the ring is formed it means the weld is good now you can do the unling by taking this lever to again number 6 and then clamping the welded joint in between the unling jaws like this so that the welded joint is in the center of the two unlinked jaws. Now again you can depress this push button. You will see the current being passed through the welded joint like this. Till it becomes reddish keep it pressed. Now the joint is properly annealed. You can now declamp the rod and then do the grinding and then pass through dice. Thank you.